The St. Lucia Meteorological Services indicated that moisture and instability associated with an approaching tropical wave, together with a low-pressure center, will cause cloudiness, showers, and isolated thunderstorms over the Lesser Antilles from tonight into Wednesday. The system is about 750 miles east of the Lesser Antilles and is moving westward near 23 miles per hour. Some slow development of this disturbance is possible later this week and this weekend. A second tropical wave located over the eastern tropical Atlantic is moving westward near 21 miles per hour. Additional slow development of this system is possible during the next several days. The public is reminded that St. Lucia is currently in the hurricane season and that the necessary steps must be taken to ensure safety and preparedness in the event of a hurricane. The National Emergency Management Organization, NEMO, advises the following. Before the hurricane, ensure you know your emergency shelters. Trim overhanging branches from trees around your home or property. Develop an emergency communication plan. Secure buildings by boarding up windows and doors. Store valuable documents in a waterproof container or Ziploc bag. Develop a family disaster plan. Have a disaster kit or disaster supplies on hand. Place indoors any loose outdoor objects and secure those which cannot be brought inside. One must ensure that a disaster kit includes water, non-perishable food items, flashlight, batteries, portable radio, first aid kit, essential medicines, change of clothes, mask and sanitizer. During a hurricane, individuals are advised to listen to the radio or television for hurricane updates. Stay inside away from windows or glass doors. Avoid open flames such as candles and kerosene lamps. If power is lost, turn off major appliances to reduce power surge. After a hurricane, individuals are advised not to go outside until the all-clear is given. Only Nemo can issue an all-clear order. Be aware of outdoor hazards such as downfallen trees and broken power lines and report them to the relevant authority immediately. Avoid flood water because it may have harmful contaminants and dangerous debris.